Well, the Eliminate AF trial was a study comparing uninterrupted edoxaban to uninterrupted VKA therapy in patients undergoing atrial fibrillation ablation. And the rationale to test this compound is that NOACs in general are much easier to handle than VKA in the setting of cardiac procedures, for instance. And the only NOAC for which we had no data uh, before Eliminate was actually edoxaban. So this was the last of the four NOACs to be tested in this ablation setting. In general, NOACs are much easier to manage in patients with atrial fibrillation. Uh, they have a short and predictable half-life. They have no interactions with food or with uh, a lot of other medications. And these disadvantages of VKA made the NOAC story such a success, actually. The findings of the Eliminate AF study was that, again, in patients undergoing AF ablation, uh, edoxaban, when administered in an uninterrupted fashion, was both safe and effective. We had only a, a low number of bleeding events. We had only two is uh, two strokes, one ischemic stroke and one hemorrhagic stroke, both occurring in the edoxaban arm, not in the VKA arm. But that is, of course, uh, uh, given the low numbers, uh, not statistically significant. So I think uh, the basic message of Eliminate AF is that edoxaban can be used in this setting with good safety and with good efficacy. Well, the implications are, you know, more and more patients are being treated with NOACs. For instance, in Germany, 70% of all AF patients are now prescribed NOACs. If a patient on edoxaban comes to the EP lab for ablation of atrial fibrillation, before Eliminate AF, we did not know what to do with this patient. Now, after Eliminate AF, we know that we can continue, simply continue with edoxaban and do the ablation procedure next day. So there is no need for bridging anymore, and that is a big, big advantage of, of this kind of therapy.